Oh, one went away. Can you believe it? Um, I, I just, I just couldn't believe what I saw. I expected entering to, entering this game. I expected a much closer game. I actually expect this game to go to overtime. I really did. I thought um, this game would go to overtime because I figured the Blues. Well, it's their first game. It's the first home game in this series. First home game in the playoffs, and I figured that um, they would need something to happen. They need they would need to win, which they did. They needed to win, and uh, I figured they would be extra angry over what Kadri did. And speaking of Kadri, the news broke during the game: an eight-game suspension. Eight. And I I thought it would be like four or five or like a rest of the series thing, but. They go with the boom out of eight, and I figured they would do this because I think the league wants to kind of make up for not giving Tom Wilson the, 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 the suspension he deserved. So they figured, well, the first somebody who really messes up like this will know it, will throw the throw a big book at him, and that somebody just happened to be Nazem Kadri. So um, eight games, which could put him out if we play quick series, which could put out until the, the, the Cup semifinals, the Final Four. But, um, yeah, so, so he's, so he's going to have to miss a lot of time. That's a lot of money he's going to lose. But anyway, back to the, back to the game. Uh, but yeah, I thought this was going to be a close game, and it was. It was scoreless after the first period, but then the floodgates opened. Uh, Ryan Graves, he had a game, didn't he? Ryan Graves scores, thanks to Bennington's terrible attempt to try to pay the, play the puck, and then all hell broke loose. It all went downhill from the Blues' perspective. Three goals, just like that in the second period. Two more in the, two more in the third. A 5-1 victory. And now the Blues are, in, are on the verge of getting swept. Mm. In other action, uh, Washington and Boston, finally they didn't need overtime. They, they finally sold it in 60 minutes. Uh, Boston took care of Washington like it was nothing. So, um... So uh, they have a three games to one series lead, uh, and uh, Washington could be looking at another first round exit, which 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 would be their third straight since winning the cup. Um, but we did get some overtime in the other two games. Uh, Carolina and Nashville went to double overtime, second double overtime game this year, and um, needed a long time. They needed thirty four minutes and fifty four seconds to uh, overtime to decide it, and it was the it was Matt Duchesne who won it, so now the Predators have a pulse now. And uh, Winnipeg and Edmonton went scoreless after 60 minutes. <sighs> but it was Paul Stassi who ended it quick. And now the Oilers, oh boy, Oilers find themselves down 0-2, having scored only one goal in this series. No points for Comet David, no points for Leon Dreisaitl. I think the Oilers are screwed. I really do. Uh, I know it's 2-0, but I think the Oilers are completely screwed. They are down 0-2 against a team who struggled at the end of the season. They went on a terrible losing skid to end the regular season. And now here they are playing like gangbusters, shutting down the Oilers. I mean, it's ridiculous. you know. And the sad part is the Oilers are supposed to be kind of one of the the, the, the good teams at North Division. So that's going to give credence to all the North Division deniers who say the division sucks. You know, it's, uh, it's, 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 just, it's just awful. And, um, and I've said this many times before. I've said this on Twitter, at CED version 2. I've said this on Twitter many times. If, if the Oilers don't make anything resembling a playoff run, Connor's going bye-bye. He can only put up with this type of failure for so long. A player that good and that young deserves to be playing for a cup right now. They're not anywhere close so far in the playoffs. And if, and if they lose those next two games and get swept, Connor's going to go off and get out. He's going to want to go to a contender. And, um, and, and, that, and that could really damage the NHL because... Who, which, whichever contender he goes to, that's going to kill a bit of the parity in the league. And the league has a, quite a bit of it. So, Edmonton, I don't know. They need to get it together in this series. So, um, that's all that happened. I didn't, as an Avalanche fan, I just, I just like to say how crazy it is that two 
XAVs scored overtime winners tonight, uh, tonight. Matthew Shane and Paul Stassi. And I remember watching those two together. Those two played with, uh, they played with McKinnon. They played with O'Reilly. And they played with Barry, who's now with Edmonton. And O'Reilly's now with St. Louis. He finally got his first point tonight. So he has one point, but still the plus minus is terrible. And now he's looking look to be on the receiving end of a sweep. Yeah, I think that, that Stanley Cup muster from two years ago, it's gone. It's completely gone. Uh, so, that's my recap of tonight's action. What's on store for uh, tomorrow, I'll be happy to tell you. Um, the action starts early. 12.30 p.m. Eastern, but really early for here in the West Coast. It's 9.30 a.m. here in the, in, the, in the Pacific time zone. Uh, the Florida series, game four of that, Tampa Bay still leads 2-1, to one, but four to one in game three in overtime to show that they have a post this series. Uh, game four between the, the Penguins and the Islanders, Penguins lead that series two games to one. And then after that, it's... Um, Game two between the Canadians and uh, Maple Leafs. Of course, Canadians took game one uh, on, uh, on Thursday. And of course, and finally, it's the um, Golden Knights in the Wild at game four. Knights are up two games to one. They really taken command after being shut out in game one at home. And as for Sunday, we got two elimination games Sunday. The first one being the Avs and the Blues. But before that, it's game four. Um, Hurricanes and Predators still in Nashville. Carolina now leads that series two games to one after Nashville's double overtime victory. Uh, the first elimination game is after that. Game through game four, Avalanche Blues. Avs lead three nothing and could complete the sweep on Sunday. And then the other elimination game is game five between the Bruins and the Capitals. The scene shifts back to DC, but the Capitals are going to have to. Really get it together. They need to win three straight to advance, um, and um, and and finishing off Sunday's action is Game Three between the Oilers and the Jets. The scene shifts. The, the scene now shifts to Winnipeg, or as this wrestling fan likes to call it, Jericho Country. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so um, it's gonna be an interesting. It's it's gonna be an interesting next couple of days, and of course. And of course, what happens? What happens on um, tomorrow could determine if we have some elimination games on Monday. But uh, so um, it's it's gonna be an interesting next couple of days. It's gonna be an interesting Sunday for me, as I said. We could we could finish it off, and um, but yeah. So that's my recap of tonight's action. It was crazy good, and I'll be back tomorrow to recap tomorrow's action. So stay tuned.